I haven't been down in the artist alley since 2018. I've been yeah. upstairs since. I miss being down here. Yeah, I, I, I actually avoid the exhibitor hall at this convention. It's too, uh, it's a little too massive, and I just can't get a, get burnt out up there when I, even when I'm just looking around. Yeah, when I um, I was going up there the past couple of years to sell my original concept art, not my fan art. Uh-huh. And uh, foot traffic wise, is just, I mean, it's AX, so you get foot traffic, yeah. but it's nothing compared to down here. Yeah. Yeah. So even out, plus my table for this year was going to be like six thousand dollars. Yeah. And I was just like, you know, how long it's going to take me to make six k at this but, show? Like, yeah. You, you basically, you know, by the time that you make back what you're doing, it's like, all right, well then, all right, then travel or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That's, I don't really like that either. Like one of our friends, you know, she has like, you know, like four space or whatever. So she has like four spaces. Oh, up there? And yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And she's like, she's like, yeah, it takes me a long time to, so like I don't get into like the profit until like maybe the end of day two. See, because I don't know why people don't think of it this way, but until you break even, you're all, you're working for the convention. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah for sure. Because yeah. You, you gave them That's the nice thing money to fund here. the I mean, show, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not the cheapest artist alley, but it's still, you know, I think ass. I think it's pretty cheap considering, yeah, you know? Yeah, no, for considering where it yeah. is, Yeah, sure. and like, was it 500 this year? Yeah, I think it was like 500. Yeah, but like, I've seen plenty of other artist alleys yeah, now yeah. that are in the threes. Yeah, and you'll be in the profit in the first, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So I I hope they don't do it, but I mean we've talked about it plenty of times. We're like AX could push it to like seven hundred to a thousand, and they people would still still do it. I mean, hope they don't. They have the hall open until eight p.m., so it was like uh, twelve p.m. to eight p.m. time of a setup, which is pretty sweet. So since I can't go to you right now, what I'm going to do is just package pretty much everything. I'm going to package everything. I signed everything before I got here, so we're going to arrive three er- three hours early tomorrow, and uh, we'll double-check everything and make sure we're all good to go. But, yeah, I'll, I'll see you, uh, like, way later tonight, though. They let us into the artist alley at 7. <laughs> Doors open at 10, and then it's from 10 to 6. That's day one Saturday. Actually, that's the schedule Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, right? And then Tuesday, it's the same thing, but we close at 3. So 10 to 3. Yeah, it's because they're just like, oh, shit. Yeah, I play Turtles in time. (laughs) But the thing is, Turtles, the reason I chose it was it crosses a lot of different generations. Like, it's such a huge demographic. If we ever take it to a comic book convention, it's going to be a fucking rat. That's what you made it for, huh? Yeah. But I knew it would work everywhere. Remember, we were talking about it a little bit, and I was like, we need to hit that American cartoon demo. Yeah. Yeah, You weren't going to do, like... Well, you have... Marvelous Capcom, but you weren't going to do like DC. Or no, Marvel. yeah. And I needed something where there wasn't a lot of competition. It's just like, what? how much Ninja Turtle shit do you see when you go to these things? Fuck. Yeah. So they, they'll see it and they're like, oh, fucking turtles. You know, I told you I'd give you a Yu Gi Oh print for your birthday. I set that face down. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be on this side. You see they're opening doors for uh, people at 9, not 10? The, the thing says 10, but they're letting people in at 9. No way. Yeah. Oh, we got 10 minutes. Let's see how fast we can go. See, I'm just going to put this bitch right here. Here. Yeah, I, I originally was gonna have these standing up. Remember these, right? Like that. But one, it's a pain in the ass to deal with because people knock it over. Yeah. But also, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like most things that we do in the artist alley, we're not gonna be able to record behind the table this year because they're really strict about having that clear. So, it is what it is.
Not a bad first day? Not a bad first day at all. That's all right. They had us in the first half, though. Oh, he had us in that first They had us in the first half. Dude, it was the first four hours was just like so slow. Like we made what, like five sales, and then all of a sudden, yeah. So we're walking out right here. This is the uh, the annex area. I don't know how to describe it. They're like premium spots for like different kinds of artists. I applied for a spot here this year because I wanted to do some live art, but they declined me. They didn't want me. And if you don't want me, I don't want to do it. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Wait, was that here? That was here. That right? was here, yeah. That was AX. Ah. We were looking the pro panels out because waiting in line was going to take too long. Yeah. And we were just all about getting the fuck out. It's the rave started already. You said the rave started? Yeah. Well, just because you hear some, some bass and some Japanese chick, you think it's a rave? Yeah, yeah that's basically it. <laughs> it's hella good. It's hella good. <laughs> Actually, that's hella good, right? <laughs> oh, see, next time if I forget the almonds and the inshore, because we old ass men, we're gonna park real close. Yo, I kind of want some almonds right now, bro. There's a, I got. Son, give me that shit. Lightly salted almond. Oh, that's even better, dude. Not fully salted because we're old, but lightly salted dude, is perfect. Oh, dude, it's so good. It's so fucking oh, good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> when I come to these cons now, I used to take it so personally because it was like all I had, yeah. you know? And not just like income wise, like now I have different sources of income, right? Yep. It's just, it's hard, you can't turn down this con money is all it is. It's not just like the income, it's just like, I think I'm like an adult now. A blonde adult. <laughs> and after all that shit with the life, I just, I don't give a fuck. Like, imagine even 2022, <laughs> me, if we had, you know, we're, getting ready for coming into AX, right? Yeah. And we had to park two blocks away. I've been throwing a hissy fit, cussing on the camera. See this shit? See this shit? <laughs> Come a long way, man. I don't know how you guys put up with me. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I can't talk too loud because Dua is in the front seat taking a nap. Why is he taking a nap? Because we got here at 5.30 in the morning. After what happened yesterday, where we were like, seven o'clock will be fine. Idiots, we should have known better. And we ended up parking like two blocks away. Because we have a lot of inventory that I have to bring in today, because we did really, 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 really well yesterday, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, I needed to make sure that we were a in the parking lot that is attached to the convention center. I need to make sure that we were close to the door, which we are. We're close because we got here at 5.30 in the morning, which is when the garage opens. Close, but we're not the first ones here. You see that line of people there? They beat us here. 5.30, they beat us here. And they're not even vendors, they're attendees. And to me, I'm just like, well, that's crazy. Why would you get here so early? Then you think about it and it's like, the, the hard rule for LA, anyone who doesn't live here, if you're visiting LA, the hard rule is you're either going to get there super early or you're going to be there hella late. There's no like in between. You can never get somewhere right on time in this city. And um, with the amount of people that were here yesterday, like, like I've been to a lot of anime expos 10 years, right? And not all of them as a vendor, but like, you know, I used to go as a normal human being before. This is the craziest I've ever seen it. So I don't blame these, actually more power to these weaves. I don't blame, like, like they're gonna be sitting there another three and a half hours before they open doors to the artist alley to them. You know, I'm only here 25 minutes and then they'll let me into the, the hall. 
but uh, yeah more power to them and uh this box here is full of prints and we got to bring all that in and i was not about to lug that two blocks You've been hustling. See, so crossing off your list of cons. Yeah, you know, I actually I had to. I dipped out of quite a few really? earlier in the year. Yeah, I had some some family stuff to take care of, but uh, they've been really good coming back. Yeah, I mean, I changed my display. Um, I've actually minimalized a lot of what I had going on, and it's actually worked so in my cool. favor. Liam was asking about that's this. That's all. The other day. You know, it's all camera gear. Yeah. It's the Do brand. I, if I take a picture of the. Um, you can. I can send you an entire list of it. Really? Because I have it. Sure? I have it in a. Uh, I wrote it in like a, like a document. Dude, look at you. And then uh, anytime my friends ask, I just send them the. I copy paste it. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, I okay. don't care. <laughs> so you know how COVID took away all the conventions during 2020. Yep. Um, I guess you know during COVID, a lot of oh, Jesus, a lot of people like new coming <laughs> artists were just spending a lot of time on YouTube. And I guess a lot of them have watched my videos. So every con that I've been to this year, I get quite a few people that come up and say hi and stuff. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> I said, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> So we've been doing AX for a minute now. Yeah. What, how many times have we done AX together? Well, first of all, it was 2018. When you were helping me, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, I what do you think, think of this one? This one. This on one. top of breaking our like best sales record, on top of that. I mean, like from a <clears throat> from a work perspective, like we, I feel like we got it down to a T. Like we're extremely efficient. We know the lingo. Uh, we're just moving product and we're connecting with people really well. Um, like people are engaging with us and like we're just in and out. Like we've, we've got it's it. so efficient, right? It's so efficient. Yeah. It's so nice. Like the most stressful event was like, oh, we're out of a league. Let me just leave it real quick. Like that was it. Like <laughs> we, we've gotten it down after 10 years. Like it's crazy that it's taken this, this long. Is this considered long so, time? Like, yeah, it's considered a long time. <laughs> We're a little slow at it, but we'll get there eventually, like that turtle. <laughs> so, uh, oh, dude, so Ninja Turtle, yeah, really well. It did really well. The uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh slap. Yeah, and Lee caught me off guard this weekend. Caught me off guard. Too. Yeah. Because sometimes it doesn't move. Yeah, but you know the old version. I, let's be honest, it doesn't look as, even though this one's updated, if the old one looked like this one in style, because when I redrew the league, I removed all the shading and all that stuff, and I cleaned up the line work. <clears throat> Same thing with the Overwatch. I was just going to say the Overwatch. The it's line it's work, not just course. that it's complete, it's that it just looks better now. That's mm -hmm. why. It's aesthetically pleasing, and people were like, oh my god, it's, it's Overwatch 1 or Overwatch. And it's just You've never, like, every time we had my Overwatch print when you were there, it just never moved, right? There are some pieces that you have that I overlook. Even, overlook. even in New York. Remember, you were just like, fuck that Overwatch piece, take it down. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> this weekend was just like, people were just like, eyeballing it. It's everything, wanted to, right? Wanted to grab it, yeah, wanted to take it. So you know how uh, I have that new display where everything's like on the table and in front? Mm -hmm. the, the, the reason I decided to do that was back in the day when I had things in frames and just up on the table, um, I would put like a large the 24 by 36 in a frame that I put on the easel, set on the table. Because it was really close to people's faces, they'd always walk by, oh, look, this fucking every Pokemon, mm -hmm. all right? And then we started doing the, the displays, even with the pro panels where it was behind me. They couldn't, they couldn't do that anymore. They couldn't like do the Where's Waldo thing. So with the table display that I have now, I was just like, well, I want to do that where it's in their face, but for all my prints. So I was like, well, I sit it on the table, that way I'm not in between the prints. It needs to be them, the prints, then me. 
So they need to look at it and decide they want to buy it and go past it and get to me. So uh, you've seen all weekend people are just like, oh, it's because they could see it because mm -hmm. you just want to get the artwork as close to them as possible. Well, even when I was walking around, like <clears throat> your booth is just like it stands out. There's just something aesthetically pleasing about it. The, cup, the, the colors are uh, they're kind of demanding almost. Like you have I, I heard you use that word demanding before. Well, I used it on your Marvel vs. Capcom piece because... Like of all the pieces that you have, like the, the colors, although like it's a dark. It's color, a very aggressive, right? It's so it's so demanding. Like you have to look at it. Like even if you don't know what it is, a lot of people didn't know what it was, but they were looking at it. Yeah, I think um, choosing to do like like there's only a couple of other Marvel versus Capcom pieces out there, right? So choosing to do properties that are not like I think we talked about this before, where everyone's like you should do a Demon Slayer one, you should do a this, you should do that because it's all popular. Saturated. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, yeah. So, like, the Ninja Turtle piece, we chose that because the, how many other fucking Ninja Turtle pieces do you see? So every Ninja Turtle fan has bought it. Every con, that, the, the few cons I've gone to this year. Mm -hmm. um, the the Yu-Gi-Oh! one. The Yu -Oh! Th there's a good amount of Yu-Gi-Oh! like, merch. Not too much prints. And when it's prints, it's always just, like, Titty Dark Magician Girl, maybe an Exodia or something, mm -hmm. right? But, um, nothing like what I got. And you see how Oh, that this move. is like nostalgic though. Like it, yeah. it brought people back. And we were even talking about the trio of what people grew up with, like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu -Oh. um, you know, and um, Dragon Ball. Like that. That was like a, a really That's popular the, trio yeah. with the buy two get one. Like that was moving a lot. That's what. All right. Well, I guess we should finish eating and got to get. We're still gonna get to the parking lot tomorrow at like five thirty. Yeah. Because when we unload, we want to be like. If anything, there's going to be more competition for parking tomorrow because artists are going to want to park like right there. Yeah. So we all get there first. They open at 5:30. I mean, I know I've been waking up a little bit later, but for real, we we, we got to get there at like five and just sit there because okay. I want that up front spot. I should be sleeping again. That's cool. Yeah, we can take care of all that. I'm gonna grab some shit out the car. So you know my display setup that everyone's getting moist over? Yeah. Everyone's asking me for? Somebody sent that list to me. So what kind of asshole would I be if I didn't send it to other people? You know what I'm saying? Well, you don't seem like a gatekeeper. I mean, you've been literally giving people advice your entire career. Hey. So I didn't actually get to meet you yet. Oh, Brian. shit. Brian, what's up? Man? Man. Business partner, manager. Yeah, oh, hey. spoke, but oh, we yeah. didn't get to meet Yeah, it's like, the oh, con life. Yeah, yeah thanks for uh, letting us snag that table at Asin. Oh, yeah, okay. Had we got that other table we had, ooh, it would have sucked. Asin was good? Yeah, oh, yeah. We, might have, we probably still would have been okay over there, but, like, that, but that, spot that spot was good, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, but, glad it, I'm glad you were able to use it because it was I wasn't going to be able to, so... Glad it went somewhere useful, yeah. He's not there. He and his crew of 50, him and his crew of flunkies must have left. What? I, I said he's not there. Damn, you hella zone out when you text. I can't multitask. Oh. Good show? Good show? Yeah, good show. Uh, I'm sure by the time Salt Lake comes around, we'll both have different color hair. Probably. <laughs> Probably. 